history actually has it that no church has ever survived in this village. As a matter of fact, from what we were told, when people come here to plant church or to do a crusade, you know, they have a way of chasing them away with their fetish and oral powers. But the power of God prevailed and the kingdom of God is already established in this village as I'm talking to you. I met an old man here three years ago. We shared the vision of the gospel with the man and the man gave his life to Christ. So by the grace of God, we started the church last year, September 2nd, last year. And that was of course when in 2018, uh, our district, Sabo Nuba district, uh, headed by Reverend Godwin Onofomi, decided to have a, a convocation, our district convocation, and the church planting was part of the plan. I was privileged to be the chairman planning committee. So one thing led to another, and the issue of um, a riverine church came on, and we were asked to go and uh, meet Pastor Dagunduro to ask or make inquiries about one of the community he discovered some years back. And that's how we got here. Ever since then, the Lord has been faithful. We come here every Sunday by boat from Ego. And then here we are today with all the people the Lord is raising, the people like um, Brother Larry, Bra, and Pastor Monday, and every other team that joined the two um, ministers that has come here to empower this work of the gospel. Uh, Project Save International Ministry, I want to thank God for that uh, this ministry headed by my friend and brother, Pastor Oyeleke Lanry. I, Pastor Lanry happened to be my classmate and by extension, my roommate as well. We, we were together in the Bible College, Life Bible College owned by First Square Gospel Church uh, based in Ikorodu. We were together for our summer program and um, while in the course of our planning for the crusade in Okobo, you know, I, because he was my roommate, I was always giving him updates on some of our movements and all of that. And that was how he got really involved. He got really interested. And a um, few months or a month after the church was planted, he called me and said, the, the, the church in Okobo, I'm actually interested. It, we took a trip down to Okobo, of course, with the supervising missionary, Pastor Ebenezer Dagunduro, who came to Okobo. We did a survey, and he expressed his readiness to uh, come to Okobo with his team. And here we are today. I want to thank God for the journey so far. Join our one million star partners. They are ready to move the frontiers of the gospel to all the nations of the world. God bless you as you partner with us.